Hello, everybody. Testing the audio, waiting for people to arrive. We'll get started in just a sec.
Hey guys, sorry, one second, my internet is being weird, so I want to make sure that it's all good before I start rock and rolling. Let me know if you can hear me right now in the chat. Okay, I need to switch to my faster internet. I don't know if this is going to make me stop live streaming for a second, but if it does, I'll be back in like half a second. So, uh, work with me here. I'll be <laughs> I might be gone for just a second, but I probably won't. Okay. Am I, am I alive? Can you hear me? Hello, is anybody there? Okay, sounds like everything's good. Here we go. Wait, wait, sip of coffee, and then here we go. You gotta have that coffee. Hello, everybody! I was dancing, I was doing this little dance to the music. Sorry about that. The internet was being so weird. I don't know what, what was happening. My, my fast internet decided to cut out, and instead it wanted to do a, my super slow internet version. And I was like, wait, 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 don't do that. Anyhow, we're here now. Uh, it sounds to me like you guys can hear or see me. And I'm sure you can see the army of octopi and squid that we have. <laughs> we will destroy the oceans. <laughs> I'm feeling a little kooky, a little weird today. I'm always feeling a little kooky and a little weird, but today... I don't know. I'm just feeling like a little loosey goosey, which I like. It's fun for a fun for a live stream. Um, okay, so uh, as you can see, I have a lot of little guys here, and today we're gonna add at least two more to the two more to the army. We're gonna add an octopi and a squid, and maybe a third. I don't know. We're gonna see. You see what how much time we got here. Um, Yes, as you can see, we have a lot of little fellas here, and we're going to be adding one to the group today. Now, first, let me talk about what you need for today if you're going to crochet along with us. Uh, and then we'll talk about how you can support, and then we'll just get rocking and rolling. And hello to the chat. Hello, everybody. I see ya. Um, okay, so what you need for today is we're going to be using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton today. We will be using three different colors. You will need the main color, uh, which currently I have pink, but uh, what color do you think we should make our first one? Do you think we should make it pink or should we make a uh, turquoise or a purple or a yellow? Um, actually, let's choose between two different colors. So let's choose between uh, purple and pink. So for our first character, Purple, pink, and and do you want an octopus or a squid? That's what I want you to say. I want you to say purple dash octopus or pink dash squid or pink dash octopus. One one of the two combinations. Comment it in the chat while I get going here. A lot of a lot of people saying purple. We'll probably end up doing both eventually, Alejandra. But for now, for our first one, what do you want me to make? Okay, so you're gonna need your main color. You're going to need, oh, I'm seeing a lot of octopus, pink, purple octopi, I'm seeing. You're going to need the color white, and you might need the color black, depending on if you're making the squid or not. Um, I think it looks like the first one people want us to make is an octopus, so a purple octopus. Um, oh, people are saying yellow octopus, too, though. Um, now, if you would like to get all the materials 
Well, hold on. Let me talk about all these materials first. So I'm using all worst weight cotton in three different colors. Main color, white, and our secondary color, black or white or, or whatever you want for the, the face behind the squid if you're making the squid. And... Um... Oh, please don't, please don't uh, uh, block up the chat with the same thing over and over. So, like, David, stop saying yellow octopus. I saw it. Only one per person. Please. Um, and then you'll need eyes. I'm going to be using 8 millimeter safety eyes today. And the reason is because 8 millimeter safety eyes, I find, makes the cutest freaking octopi. Look at how cute this little dude is. Um, so we're going to be doing purple, or, or, or big old, big old eyes for our character. You'll need a crochet hook, of course. I'm going to be using a size G 4mm crochet hook. A pair of scissors, obviously. Look how cute these scissors are. I got these at my local yarn store. And a darning needle, obviously. Now, if you'd like to get a kit with all these materials, as well as the patterns for both the squid and the octopi and a bunch of hats, what's really cool about these kits... Uh, oh, it's... Bleh. I have extra kits available is what I'm trying to say. Um, I made a whole bunch for Club Crochet Pro members, and I decided to make a bunch extra, and so now I have extra kits to sell. And I put them in the shop last night, and they're on sale today and tomorrow only. So uh, you can get them for a couple bucks cheaper if you buy them today. It comes with all these materials and the instructions for not only how to make an octopi a, or a squid, but it also includes the materials and, wait, the materials? and the instructions for how to make a top hat, a pirate hat, or a chef hat to add to your uh, little character. So we're gonna be adding that to ours today. Um, it looks like a lot of people are, I was seeing a lot of purple octopi. I'm definitely making an octopus. Everybody's saying octopus, octopus, octopus. Well, some people are saying squid. But I'm seeing a lot of purple. So we'll do, we'll go ahead and do a purple octopus. I love purple octopus. So that's a great idea. Um, so we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to add a hat to him. Uh, we'll decide the hat later. But I'll get your guys' help with uh, the decision for the hat as well. Let's put this aside. And let's make some room. Oh. So those are the materials that you need. Look at that. Parting the octopi seat. Um, if you would like to get the, the pattern for what we're making today, it's right here, clubcrochet.com slash octopus. It's a totally free pattern. Oops. The octopus is a free pattern. The squid is a, is a membership pattern exclusive. You can either get a membership or you can purchase the pattern. Uh, and you will get access to that. If you would like to support, you know, I can add, I can, I can keep a few of these little fellas in here while I'm talking. If you would like to help support this channel, uh, there are a few ways you can do so. The first way, and the easiest, and the cheapest way, is just to like this video down below. Go on, give it a like. That would be very cool of you. I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other ways you can help support if you're interested is uh, you can become a member. Members get early access to future patterns. They get exclusive access to patterns and tutorials all around the website, just like the little squid here. So squid, boop. If you have a Club Crochet membership, you get uh, the pattern for this squid. Um, I tried to finish the pirate hat in time. I just couldn't finish it last night. So it'll be up probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, so look out for the pirate hat very, very soon. Um, there's a bunch of other patterns like our seagull from last from last week. That is a membership pattern now, so you'll need a membership account to access it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Memberships start at only five dollars a month, and you can even get kits mailed to your door every month with all the materials you need. And this octopi squid kit was actually this month's Club Crochet Pro kit. So if you were a pro member, you should have the kit and you might be crocheting along with us. If you are, please let me know in the chat. I would love to know if anybody is a pro member and is making our little octopi squids with me today. Um, chirp a little, we named the seagull Reginald per your guys' request. I also did a little fun video. Um, check it out a little bit later, but I did a fun little like uh, uh, like mini YouTube short video of a of the guy of of Captain Reginald on the beach. It's very funny. I think I liked it a lot. Um, 
yeah so that's what a membership gets you uh, it's really cool and i highly suggest that you get a membership if you would like to support this channel you'll get also get discounts in the shop for like everything um you can also support by purchasing merch and kits so i have some of these kits still available i only have a limited amount though i think i only have like 15 or 20 left so if you want to get one like buy it now uh it not only helps support but like there's only a limited amount and i have them on sale so yeah uh at least the ones on sale are a limited amount um also i have stickers available this one i'm almost out of uh anyone can be a hooker if you want to get this one it, it has a clear backing so you can put it on like your car or uh uh your face if you want to because you can see right through it <laughs> so we got that one we got professional hooker stickers uh i want to get this tattooed on my body someday uh <laughs> there are church of perch stickers still available there's two different kinds, one with owls, one with chickens, and get the gist there. And then we got some Stitch stickers available. Um, we're going to be going pretty hard on Stitch very soon, uh, so I hope you like Stitch, because we're going to be crocheting a bunch of goblins and stuff very soon. Let's see, what else? Like and subscribe? Oh, I said that in the beginning. Well, do it again. Um, and yeah, purple squid, purple squid. Okay, so first off... I need to get my purple yarn. So one second, it's right here, it's right here. Don't go nowhere. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, where is my purple yarn? Hold on. I got it somewhere. Wait, 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 it's in the dry bag. Is it in here? Uh-oh. Well, maybe we're not doing purple because I can't find my purple yarn. Okay. Ow! I just kicked. Oh, I just kicked my chair. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I couldn't find my purple, my dark purple. So all I have is light purple. I hope that's okay. Which is great because it's right between purple and pink. Forgive me. Forgive me for my transgressions. I'm sorry. I thought I had full regular purple I do somewhere but I don't want to take a million years to find it oh man I really just jammed up my, my toe there oh ouchie okay let's move these guys over and swallow the pain <laughs> oh you're also going to need stuffing for this I forgot to mention that Oh, and uh, 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 I forgot about another way you can support if you'd like to. If you'd like to help support this channel, you can support with a super chat or, or donating to me directly. So you can tip me. Um, and when you do tip me, a couple of things happen. First off, I'm going to cover my computer with all these little octopi. Um, the first thing that happens is... You should show up on the screen when you do so. Um, you can tip right here by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. And if you tip, uh, 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 there should be a little thing on the screen that comes up that says like, thank you. And uh, uh, and I say thank you on, on screen. And then I put something out for you. So for example, uh, we have two tippers already way quick. The first one is Tina. Tina, thank you so much. All the way from Denmark. All the way from Denmark. Now, we put something out for you, Tina. I'm gonna put something out on screen for you. Now, normal, like I was thinking, oh, I could put an octopi out on screen for you. And I was thinking that might be a good idea. Actually, let me know. Guys, what do you want? Do you think I should do octopi on the screen again and cover the screen in octopi? Or should we just mix things up, put some random things on there? Um, Tina, what do you want? 
Uh, the other person that did one is Cooperlicious. Cooperlicious. Thank you so much for your donation. And I'm going to be putting something out for you guys, but I want to know what to do, what to put out for you guys. Do you want octopi? Do you want squid? Or do you want something random like dinosaurs or something? I don't know. You let me know. You guys are the donators. I would appreciate, uh, yeah, anything that you want. Kai wants something random. By the way, Kai's creation is in the chat and it was their birthday. Happy birthday, Kai. This is another happy birthday to you. Um, Tina wants the long pigeon burp. That's a great move. Long pigeon burp for Tina. In the corner. Right there. Right there. He's going to be sitting here. He's going to be watching us. He's going to be judging us. And then Cooperlicious. Let's see. Uh, Cooperlicious. Oh, by the way, Cooperlicious emailed me the other day uh, because I just came out with this dragon in the rough draft of my website. So if you would like to try out this dragon pattern and give me feedback, it is in the rough drafts. You need a membership account to access my rough drafts, uh, but it's in there right now. So, and Tina emailed me with a bunch of, uh, a bunch, or not Tina, Cooperlicious emailed me with a bunch of notes and I appreciated it quite a lot. And <laughs> Cooper wants, uh, Cooper wants his, his stoned uh, 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 seagull. So stoned seagull is in there. Look at him. He looks like he just got, <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just ate some really weird mushrooms that he found on a garbage can. All right. So he's going to be right here watching us. Thank you for your, your support, you guys. Okay. Well, let's get rocking and rolling. Stop talking. Let's get hooking. Boom. Dragon hype. The dragon hype is real. Yeah, I need to finish that dragon pattern very soon. And I saw D&D Maps said something about the um, the cobalt pattern in uh, how it's been in rough drafts forever. And I actually went into the rough drafts and worked on that cobalt pattern the uh, a few days ago. Uh, and it actually still has some mistakes, so I'm glad it's in the rough draft still because I want to come out with it next month or the month after. Um, so, yeah, I apparently still need to look at it a little bit closer. So I'm going to be fixing that one up, and the dragon pattern will be coming out. Um, actually, the dragon pattern is going to come out probably at the end of July. So keep a lookout for that. Um, I'm going to be doing a big promotion near that time for uh, a big event that I'm hosting. And so I kind of want to use the dragon for that. But there, it is a huge pattern. So there are a lot of opportunities for mistakes. And I could really use some feedback. By the way, I am making my octopus right now. And I am already on round two. I'm going crazy quick. What's really cool about this pattern is that you can make them like insanely fast because there's no parts of it that need to be sewn together it can all be made in one fell swoop so you can make them really quick uh, and especially if you have made one or two of them already it's really easy to for me at least to remember how the pattern goes so I can just go like once I make one I could be like bam 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 wham bam I got a million of them Uh, bu, bu, bu. Donations aren't coming up on screen or making a sound. You're right. Chirp a little. Aqua Luna. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're right. You're right. I don't know what's wrong. No, that's not right. Which one is it? If I do that. No, that's not right. Wait, is that right? I think it's just that one that we want. Okay, wait, let's 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 do this. There we go. Aquatic Luna, thank you. And chirp a little. Wait. There it is. Thank you guys. There you go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, so Aquatic Luna says, 
Oh, that was so nice of you, Aqu Aquatic Luna. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, okay, so Aquatic Luna, we're gonna pot out. It seems like you don't have really a preference for what goes out on screen, so I'm gonna put out. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let, we can keep it. We can keep it. Let's let's. I'm gonna put out a little, uh, uh, a little sea otter for you. Thank you. He's gonna go right here for you, Aquatic Luna. And Chirp a little makes a request. She wants the purple cap. Captain Squid, right? Is that what you wanted? Captain Calamari. That would be this one, right? Purple Captain Calamari. I like his skull because it's uh, it's tiny. He's a tiny skull. That's for you, Chirp a Little. Thank you guys so much for your donations. I really appreciate it. I forgot to also mention... Your donation should be going to this bar here. I'm gonna check in on that a little bit uh, next, uh, after this live stream too, because I feel like that should be already finished by now. Um, oh, there you go, Cooperlicious actually just said it. So yeah, I don't think that's gone up in a while. And if that hasn't been going up in a while, then I'm just gonna have to go back and like check how much it is and add it to it. I'm sure it, it probably is already gone through. And if it has, uh, I'll be doing a big giveaway very soon. Uh, pro hopefully next week if I have the time to make it. Um, but it might take me a second to do the big giveaway. Um, oh, I also forgot to mention something to you guys. Uh, we are doing a brand spanking new challenge. Uh, so I'm working with Coffee and Crochet. She is our new moderator on... Uh, on Discord and Reddit, and she wants to start running challenges for Club Crochet, and I totally think that's a great idea. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna start doing a big challenge where everybody uh, is challenged to make a different character and make it really original based on a like a series of, of suggestions. So it's like, we're gonna be making this character and we're gonna be adding things to it to make it beach ready or make it ready to go to a party or something like that. And everybody can crochet something and post a picture to either the subreddit or the Discord channel. And uh, we're gonna choose our four favorites. And then from those four favorites, everybody else is going to uh, vote on their favorite of the four and that person who wins will get a $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store. So it's pretty significant. And this first one's going to start on June 16th, which I think is Wednesday, right? Yeah, I think that's Wednesday. It's gonna start on June 16th. You're gonna have 10 days to make it, but we're still choosing what to make. Um, so if you would like to help me choose what we're going to uh, crochet then all you need to do is uh, bye David thanks for joining um, all you need to do to vote on what you want to make for the challenge is go to uh, you can go to clubcrochet.com slash challenge um, so just like this clubcrochet.com except instead of octopus you would put challenge and there are two polls there's one on reddit and there's one on YouTube, uh, on it, from the YouTube community channel. And you can vote on either or both if you want. And we're going to be compiling all the votes from both places to choose whatever we're going to be crocheting. And then I will do a little notification on Wednesday about what we're making for our first challenge series. And yeah, that's, that's the plan. So if you'd like to help decide what you want to make or what we should make go to clubcrochet.com slash challenge can i say o with a slash through it i don't know i don't think i can because i don't know how that's pronounced kai that's your birthday well there we go we're doing it just for you i thought your birthday was a few days ago.
a river puppy. Hello, Ava. Welcome to the chat. Welcome. How was your guys' week, by the way? I had a... Actually, I had a pretty long week, to be honest. I had a long week. I came up with some really cool ideas, but I just had so much work to do this week. Hey, I hate those weeks, you know? Where you're like... You're just exhausted by the end of it. You're like, oh... I finished it, finally. And luckily yesterday I got to hang out and do... Yesterday was Knit in Public Day. And I crocheted in public. I went to uh, my local yarn store where I, I got these scissors. I didn't get these scissors yesterday, but I got the scissors from the same place. And me and Jules went and crocheted and knit in public. I made... I actually made... I made this there. And I made a little goblin and I hid it there. Uh, I decided that every time I go, I'm going to hide another another goblin in the tree there and take over that tree with goblins. Okay, one second. I need to go back to the pattern because I'm making the squid. Or, I mean, I'm making the octopus, but I got the pattern for the squid open. So I need to switch over to the pattern for the octopus. And I have PDFs for all of these. And what's really cool about the PDFs is that there are check marks to keep track of where you're at. So I just finished, I'm on round six, okay. Ziva built a bed with her dad, that's awesome. I want, I want to build something with my dad. I missed out on some opportunities to do that when I was younger. My dad got a big uh, a 1953 Ford truck, and the goal was for me and him to build it together. But I was a high school kid that just wanted a truck but didn't want to do any work, so I didn't build it with him. He built it by himself, and it was so cool. And I, but I wish that I spent more time building that with him. Yeah. Uh, Tassilarian wishes that all patterns had those check marks. Well, all Louis, all club crochet patterns should have that those check marks. I think some of them I need to still update. Um, by the way, if you go on my website and you find any patterns where those check marks aren't there or where you think like there's some kind of bug or something's not lined up right, let me know. Uh, I am always looking for things to fix on the site. So, uh, and I know there's a few old patterns that I made a long time ago before I started to implement these check marks and stuff that don't have check marks. So if you find those, just let me know. Um, you can email me directly at louis at clubcrochet.com or there's a contact email um, or you can reach out on Discord, however you want to. Let me know if you find any little goofs like that. I would really like to fix them. Kira asks... Oh wait, hold on, Kira. I will answer your question in just a second because I'm on round seven and I want to make my face onto round seven. Seven. So, okay. um, Kira, how did I get into crochet? When I was in high school, I um, just got really crafty in general. So I would make just a lot of crafts for friends and uh, for girls that I had crushes on. And uh, then I found a crochet pattern online for a little octopus, or just like. I think I just saw a picture of something crocheted online for for an octopus. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome. You can make a toy out of yarn? How does that how I don't understand how that works. And my and I lived right next to Joanne's, so I went over, got the materials. I learned how to do the single crochet. And then after that, I just started making up stitches and figuring it out as I went. Uh, and I was absolutely hooked and obsessed with it for the past 13 years, maybe 14 years. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Invisible decrease for eight, and then nine would be here. And then the face starts after stitch nine. Okay, so now we want to grab our white yarn. I see. Grab our white yarn. And we're going to change and we're going to add the eyeballs. Ha 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 ha. I was hooked. Yes, uh, Kai asks, is Amigurumi 101 going to update? It will be updating. Um, we're going to be updating it with something pretty cool soon. Uh, we're working on a like a, a system for, for you to build your own patterns using sections from other patterns. Uh, so I'm working on that. And then I'm also working on a few new tutorials for Amigurumi 101 to come out, uh, I don't know, whenever I have the time to. Uh, the problem is it's hard to keep up with everything because I do have a job outside of this that I have to do and I have, you know, just other adult duties that are bummers that I have to do and it's just tough to do it all sometimes, I gotta say. But hopefully sooner rather than later, I can do this full time. And I think that's, I think, I think I'm pretty close. I think I'm pretty close. There we go. I've always wanted to. It has been a lifelong goal of mine to only have my job be. Hello, Mackenzie. Welcome. We are adding the mouth of our octopus right now. And don't worry, if you're coming in and you're like, oh no, he's so far ahead. I'm gonna be doing a few different things today. I'm gonna be making an, a squid probably after this and and then maybe something else. I'm not totally sure yet. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. See this la this next stitch. I always have a problem with the m second stitch of the mouth. I can always I it's I have a hard time getting my crochet hook right into there. So my needle to make some room and then get in there. Kennedy, thank you. I'm so glad you liked it. I really love these bird patterns. Uh, I think they're one of my favorites. I'm going to be doing um, another burb this month, or I think like late this month, I'm going to be doing a, a new burb. Um, I showed it last live stream. It's a flamingo. So we're going to be doing a, this is, that's going to be next month's kit. We're going to be doing a f one of two flamingos. You can either make Florence the flamingo, which is a a uh, pattern that is not a burb. It is just a straight up flamingo amigurumi. And they're pretty big. It's like that big and he's sitting down. Um, it's very cute. I like Florence the Flamingo a lot. But I thought, you know what? What am I doing? I should have a burb version of a flamingo too. So I'm also doing that. And you can pick and choose with your kit if you want to make Florence the Flamingo or a flamingo burb. So if you want to sign up for Club Crochet Pro Kits, uh, sign up now because you have until the end of the month. And I'm going to try doing a new thing this month where if you are new to signing up, you will get an extra little sign up gift. Uh, so yeah, if you want to sign up, you'll be getting an extra gift. I'll be showing that a little bit later this month, what the extra gift is for signing up early or for signing up this month for kits. Just to help encourage, you know, sign up and stuff. Okay, so we got one, two, three. I think I goofed somewhere. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm a liar. A liar, even. Oh. Why does that mouth look so weird to me? Slip-stitched, chain one, and then we work into there, right? Okay, I guess it's not weird. I don't know. Looked weird to me. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Yes, what Melbell just said. Um, in the chat, I, I saw some people wanted to be friends and give each other their phone numbers and stuff. I, I mean, I think it's great that you guys want to be friends. I think that's awesome, awesome, awesome. But please don't put out your personal information in the chat. Um, just because we want to protect you, any literally anybody can be in this chat, uh, and I don't really want some creepy person that you guys don't know to have your phone number and to reach out to you and stuff. So don't put your personal information in the chat. Uh, if you want to reach out to each other and uh, connect, use, I don't know, email, Discord, uh, something other than phone numbers in the chat. But also, how cool. I hope you guys become lifelong friends because that would be awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we got our eyeballs made. Our eyeballs. Face is done. And now we want to do uh, an invisible decrease for our last stitch. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, of course. So I have been working on, this week I got an, a, an idea. I got an idea, and you know how I am. I come up with these ideas quite often. Um, I got an idea for a an addition to stitched. Now, if you are in the chat and you're like, what's stitched? Uh, stitched is my tabletop game that I made uh, with crochet. So it's a bunch of these uh, you crochet these little characters and you use them to play a, a board game with basically um, And it's all these it's goblins and trolls. It's very um, Lord of the Rings Dungeons and Dragons related But I got an idea yesterday to make it even more Dungeons and Dragons related or not yesterday um, Let's see what day did I get this idea? I think it was on like Wednesday or something um, to do a uh, a, a story mode so stitched story mode so I've been working on like conceptualizing it a little bit more but the basic idea is it's like uh, you can tell a story with your little characters and each person gets their own piece that they get to play with uh, in in a game that a dungeon master controls so there's one person making the story and then there's three people participating in the story and you do different like tasks, you roll dice to determine like what your character can uh, does or can do in the story. It's very cool. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot this week. So I've been working on that. I've been working on that. Okay, so I think I just use that round. Okay, I got one more round of single crochets. Then I'm gonna add the face. I'm gonna add some eyeballs. Uh, how should we add the eyes today? Should we do? Okay, chat. I need your help. I need your help. I'm looking for advice. Should I do eyes like this with big old cute little eyes that are pointing inwards? in should I do these big old eyes pointing out instead so he's looking like a little bit like um, kind of like the kind of like our burb here where he looks like goofy kind of like looking out or should I do line eyes like this so he looks more like a um, like a like they like an animal octopus Mahak, Mahak, I'll give you advice in just a second about that. Don't let me forget. I'll try to give you as much advice as I can. Big and cute pointing out. That's what Crafty Chat says. Anybody else got any advice there? We got uh, like eight more stitches. <laughs> Chirp a little says stoned eyes to match the the seagull. Yep, I agree. Okay, cool. We can do big ol' eyes. Oh, a lot of people are saying line eyes, though. 
pointing out. I like the idea of doing ones pointing out because I haven't done those in a second. Jasmine thinks we should make him angry. Kai, Kai? Wow, that's, that's a lot of people saying line eyes. Squeaks! That's an interesting idea. Making it wink. Stranger Danger wants line eyes too. Uh, you know what? Okay, let's try the winking idea. Oh, winking sounds really cute though. Okay, let me try. Let's try doing the... Uh, see, the problem is, I guess the winking wouldn't really work because... Oh man, a lot of people are saying line eyes. Okay, let's do line eyes. Let's do line eyes. A lot of people are saying it. So let's do it. Because we can do... And maybe we can use like a darker purple. Oh, is the stream glitching? Sherpa Little is finding the stream is glitching. Is anybody else having that problem? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try line eyes. So I think we're gonna go like this. Like this. Oh, it is glitchy. It is glitchy for everybody. Everybody's glitching out. Okay, hold tight. Hold strong, my friends. I'm going to give this a look-see right now. We're going to go to our live dashboard and we are going to see what my internet problem is because I'm feeling, well, it says that I have excellent connection. Okay, just keep me updated. If it starts getting glitchy again, let me know. Uh, right now it says everything's fine on my end, but that has been known to be untrue. I'm gonna go like that. Now let's see how this line eye looks on this guy. <laughs> I do like it. Maybe we could put some eyebrows too. So that's what the line eye looks like. I like it, I like it. We're gonna have to make this guy either a chef or have a top hat too. Or a pirate hat, I suppose, but we've already done a few pirate hats. So I think I'd rather do a chef or a top hat for this one. Double knot that in the back. I like how these line eyes um, often make it either look happy or angry, but it's a very subtle difference between the two. See, because he kind of looks happy right now. He looks like, looks like this. <laughs> chef, chef. Ooh, a lot of people are saying chef. Okay, chef hat it is. We can definitely do a chef hat. Sunshine, are all my pat hat patterns up? No, I'm. I still gotta get the sh the the pirate hat up. Uh, it'll be up probably either tonight or tomorrow. Um, it's is almost done. I just need to add uh, a little bit more. I just need to put a little bit more work into it. But it is almost done. So that'll be up very soon. Uh, and then I want to do the taco, the tacos hat. Um, taco is this one. So he's got like a Japanese chef hat like this. Um, so this hat I will be doing uh, a little tutorial for as well because it's really easy to, to add on. It's, it's basically just a line of crochet. So I'll add that as well soon. And then, oh, we need coffee. I got a yawn, but that was a really nice yawn. You know when you have a nice yawn and it just makes you feel great? Look how far down my glasses have fallen. Okay. 
adding this second eye, and then we'll we'll have a little coffee. Maybe we should add. I think it might be fun to try to add eyebrows. I haven't tried to add eyebrows to any of these. And I wonder how much of a, like, how much difference it'll make. Okay, let's, coffee break. Ooh, you know who needs to come out. Our coffee snob. So our, our coffee snob's gonna be here and uh, say, say hello as I drink some coffee. Would you like to say hi? I need your help finding something after you say hi. Okay. Hello. Hi, everybody. This is Jules. If can you haven't met her me? yet. I don't know if they can see me. I can see you. Oh, there. Okay, I was looking there where it looked frozen. Hi, everybody. There's so many things he has going on behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, it's like boop, 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 boop. I don't know where to look. Sometimes. Three screens. Mm -hmm. what, am I, what am I looking for for you? Oh, I need purple yarn. I need this kind of purple. Okay. I can't find it. I think it's out in the living room. Okay. Thank you. She's so helpful. She's so helpful. Everybody says hi. Everybody's saying hi. I'll make sure she knows that when she gets back. Coffee snob, thank you for your coffee break. I appreciate that. Kira can is just having a tough time getting the nose right for your octopus, huh? Well, Kira, let's see here. How can I help? How can I help you out, Kira? Where, where specifically are you having difficulty? Maybe I can help talk you through it. That is right. Thank you so much. I win. So many people saying hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Hi. Happy Sunday, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> I know we got people all over the place, which is really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. I agree. We were, I was talking about that yesterday, about yeah. how cool that is. Yeah. Uh, guess what I'm doing in the other room, or about to do? Playing Animal Crossing. Crocheting. Oh, you're crocheting. Yeah. Not knitting. Not knitting. She is crocheting. I'm crocheting. Do you want to tell them what you're crocheting, or do you want to keep it a secret Let's for keep, the next we're gonna keep, pearl? We're going to keep it a secret. Okay. In case it doesn't work out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, you're using all that new yarn, too? Mm -hmm. Fun. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Very so exciting she'll have to show that off in the next podcast, mm -hmm. which I think we're filming this week. On Saturday. It's going to happen. We're going to stick to our schedule. Yes. Face. Yes, we have to. <laughs> Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Okay, so let's try adding eyebrows to this. Uh, if you didn't know what we were talking by the w about, by the way, uh, Jules is more of a knitter. She's a knitwear designer. So her crocheting is actually kind of, what? Kind of crazy. So we'll see what she makes though. She's, she's coming for my, she's coming for my job. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens when we add eyebrows. No, oh, that's too high up for eyebrows, I think, right? Um, and then we, what we were talking about is our Loop and Pearl podcast. So we have a little podcast that we do, just me and her, where we talk about all the things that we've been working on and we show off um, some design ideas and, and talk about creativity. And sometimes we have interviews. We've been trying to find another interview, but we've been actually having a hard time finding that. Um, do I like that for an eyebrow? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try a little closer to the nose. Let's try like that. See how this looks. Does Jules ever ask? Oh yeah, she asks for help a lot while she's been crocheting. She's been trying to learn it the past few days and she's been asking for a lot of help but because she's a knit because uh, she knits so much it's not that um, it's not that crazy for her love the pot Th thank you Tassilarian uh, <laughs> Tina Jack Gurgle can come to say hello to you in just a bit Kira said, I think step two on the PDF 
I've got the slip stitches all around, and then bam, it turned into a pointed nose? Interesting. Okay, so step two on the PDF. Let's look at the PDF here. So step two is you slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made. Um, and then it, you, make, you slip stitch into the first stitch that you made in step one, and then you turn and chain one, and then you single crochet into both loops of the slip stitches made around, but you're working backwards. So, you know, you go around this way to make your slip stitches, and then you slip stitch in the first one, and then you chain and turn, and then you go back around this way to make your uh, single crochets, you know, going around clockwise. And then when you get back here, you chain one and then work into that. So what might help, two options. One is um, the video tutorial for the, the pattern. That obviously will help probably quite a lot um, if you haven't tried that one out yet. Uh, and then the other thing that might help is uh, when I get to the squid, I'll do a little bit closer of an explanation for you. Because um, I've already done the face on this one. So give me a sec to get to the squid and then I'll try to help out a little bit. Yeah, I, I do have to say, once you get it once or twice, you should be good to go. It should be a lot easier after that. Um, okay, so let me cut these and try out another eyebrow on the other side. And let's see how we like our brows before I knot this on there. Yeah, exactly. You go backwards. You go back around. That That is probably the tough thing because if you don't do that, it like all the stitches go in. They like they like uh, fold into the face and it makes it more like pointed. So this is eyebrow one. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it either. And then here's another one. How do we feel about those? I actually, I like the eyebrows. I do like, once the second one was on, I liked it a lot more because it looked, he looks like, not grumpy, but just like stern, doesn't he? He looks like he's like, mm. maybe I'll double it up even. Let's try doubling up the eyebrows. <laughs> Yarn princess, hello, welcome. I don't know how you haven't seen this before. We do this every Sunday. Okay, so we're doubling up the eyebrows. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cute. I like that. You can tell what's going on with that face, right? That's an eye, obviously. That's an eyebrow. Okay, I think that's pretty obvious. Sometimes I have, uh, I, I worry about like how much uh, you can tell what's going on. But I think that, I think this is pretty obviously an eyebrow. So we're gonna go ahead and call it there and double knot it on the inside. Ooh, I will, you know what? Michelle, Michelle, I think that's a great idea. So Michelle says, could you switch it for pink and put the eye under the eyes to make blush? I think that's a great idea. And I think we're gonna do, well, let's do that on the squid though. But I like that idea. Um, I think I'd like to make the squid purple. So we'll go ahead and do that on the squid. Cause the pink will really pop out with the purple. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. I like that. Oh my gosh, he looks like Uncle Octopus. Or you can add eyelashes. Yeah, that's a great idea, Alejandra. I like that. See what we got. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> He's so cute. I love this pattern so much. Okay. Do I? Oh yeah, that's right, Mehek. Thank you for reminding me. So uh, Mehek asks, do I have any advice on how to make your own crochet amigurumi patterns? Um, so I am gonna be working on tutorials for how to make your own patterns uh, in the future. Um, uh, just like some advice that I might have, but. Uh, current advice that I can give you. Let's see. Well, we'll start with um, uh, advice. Let's, where, where can I start? Um, I guess the best place to start is uh, how to design ori like original ideas. So whenever you have something that you wanna make, like an octopus, for example, if you wanted to design your own octopus, um, I, I suggest you probably start by drawing it out and drawing it out in pieces so that each of the, um, we're gonna do, by the way, we're gonna do his tentacles rounded because I think that rounded tentacles are cute. So we're gonna do that um, instead of pointed. Like this guy's got pointed tentacles, see? But we're gonna do ours rounded for, for our octopus that we're currently making. Um, but yeah, I, so I usually like to draw out uh, my ideas for the first bit, and it doesn't need to be good drawings at all. You can be like really just trashy drawings. But what you're really trying to conceptualize in your drawing is, uh, is construction. You're trying to think about like, okay, how many pieces is this gonna have to be sewn together? You know, is it gonna have legs? Is it going to have, um, uh, is it gonna have a nose that you need to sew on? Or is it, are we gonna try to make the nose built in with like a bobble stitch and stuff like that? So what you're really trying to do is draw out what you wanna make so that you can get an idea of how cute you wanna make it or how, just how you really wanna get a, a visual representation of what's in your brain. So that's definitely, um, uh, that's definitely step one. Step two is, uh, is just trying to crochet and get to the place that you want, like get the shapes that you need. So for example, let's say you're making a, you're trying to make a, I don't know. Let's, let's get a piece of paper here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what make. Okay, so let's say you wanted to make a character and, ooh, I gotta be careful, this is a Sharpie. Um, let's say you want to make a, uh, uh, a, uh, I don't know. A cat, let's say you wanna make a cat, because I love cats. Uh, so you want to draw out like what you want as far as shapes. So you want to make it look cute. So I usually start with the eyes. So I usually go like eyeball and then eyeball. And then I'll do like a nose like that. Um, I don't need to worry about whiskers right now, but then I want to add ears. So ears. And then I want to add a head. And what I'm really thinking about here is how is construction. So. This head is all gonna be a piece. The ears are gonna be different pieces. So usually I like to cut off the ears like that. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna make these ears different points and then I'm gonna sew it on. And then, so now I have a head. Now I need to make a body. So 
Uh, first, I want a basic body shape, so we'll just do like a circle like that. And then we'll want legs, so we want two legs sticking out on the sides. And let's go with two legs out like this. And then we want a tail. Uh, and so all these are different pieces. So there's a, there's a piece, 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 there's a piece. So now I need to think about where, like how to make all these different pieces. Um, but breaking it down like that, I find, makes it a lot easier to design something than to do it all in one chunk. Um, uh, but breaking it down into pieces, I find makes it a lot easier to conceptualize and to design. Also, big tip, make it a lot. So once you have an initial idea in mind and you make a prototype, make it over and over again. Make it like five, six times in a row. And every time you make it, write down the instructions. Write down what you changed about the instructions. Um, and yeah, th that's that's the that's like the biggest best tip that I have. And the reason I say like make it over and over is because it's not going to be perfect the first five times you make it. You're going to really need to get some uh, to get your idea like locked down before you um, come out with a pattern. But yeah, I'm gonna. I, I think I, what I'd like to do is start to write these ideas down. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, real quick, let me just uh, let me just talk about the chat real quick. Dominica and um, Ziva. Uh, 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 I see that you guys are like pretty active in the chat. Seems like you guys really want to be friends. That's awesome. That's adorable. I love it so much. I really think you guys should move over to Discord though. It seems like you guys are having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and it would probably work better on Discord or on just a different uh, uh, place. So either, either move to Discord, move to chat uh, somewhere else because I think people are getting a little frustrated with uh, the chat right now. But I also think that what you guys are doing is awesome and I hope you guys become awesome friends. It's okay, you do not need to, yeah, it's, it's all good. I, I understand, uh, I get what's happening. You don't, you don't need to feel bad about it. It's just, you know, you didn't know. And that's okay. Okay. Addy is on tentacles now. Uh, Domin oh, okay. I understand. I get it, Dominica. Don't, you don't have to, you don't have to apologize. It's okay. I just really am worried about sharing personal information in the chat. That's that's what's most in, like worrying to me. Um, okay. So Addy is on the tentacles now. Wow, we got a lot of people watching right now. Thank you guys so much. Everybody who's joined the live stream uh thanks for joining and i hope that my advice for pattern making was helpful uh like i said i really like to solidify my ideas a little bit more about how how i go about actively um designing amigurumi and do a whole series about like here's how to design amigurumi if you'd like to Okay, so we got a tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So it sounds like it looks like me and Addy are 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 on the same part. We just I think we're pretty pretty much tied up there, Addy. It's a race. It's a race. It's a race. I'm winning. One. Okay, so I think it starts there. So one. That would be the single crochet. Yeah, 
was. Okay. Let's go right there. Okay, and we don't need to add the chef hat just yet. We'll, we'll add our chef hat after we make the main part here. Oh, I heard that. That Jane. Thank you so much. Jane, also, I'll get your dinosaur out there. And I want to show you something. Good timing. So, Jane requested that I get this into the testing, into the rough draft patterns ASAP. So, uh, Jane, I will try to get this in this week. Uh, it's obviously a pretty complicated pattern, and I don't think I wrote it down the first time I made it. So it's going to take me a second to get into the play test or into the rough drafts. Um, but I'll get it in there soon, and obviously it's going to need a lot of uh, 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 testing. But this is an Ankylosaurus, and I'm going to put it out for Jane. Uh, and Jane, thank you so much for reaching out and reminding me about getting the rough drafts onto the website. I really appreciate that. So I just want you to know, thank you so much. Um, that is the reason why the Dragon Rough Draft is on this week is because Jane last week was like, I'm going to bug you, and she did. So thank you, Jane. And thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate it. So we're going to put this right here for you. And I'll try to get this this week. I really, really will. I promise. And also, you know what? After I finish uh, this... Oh, hello, Sabrina. Um, after I finish this, I have something else about the dino game, about dinosaurs in general that I want to show you. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, once I finish our first octopus and his little chef hat. Uh, Sabrina, hello. Where can you ask where you can find the rough draft? So there's a few different ways um, you can find rough drafts on the site. Uh, so if you go to clubcrochet.com and log in, and you get to the members homepage. Uh, the URL is members.clubcrochet.com. And then on that page, there is a little slider. Um, there's a square slider. And the first image in the square slider is, it says like things you might like. And the first one is says stitched. And then if you swipe it, I think two or three times, it gets to uh, Louis rough drafts. And those are my rough draft patterns that are not yet completed. There's a lot of things that I've been working on and like just trying to like um, solidify before I come out with them as a full tutorial. So it's, it's usually just written instructions. Uh, sometimes there's not even pictures and it's often like, sometimes like the written instructions are wrong. So, you know, it, it's a rough draft, it's not, it's not completed yet. So, so what I'm asking for is people to make it and then give me advice. Tell me what parts were more the most difficult for you um, and what parts were the, like, you could use more explanation on or stuff like that. Um, uh, and... Uh, oh, and another way you can find rough drafts is you can actually just use the search on the website so you can search for like dragon and it co should come up with like the dragon rough draft pattern or you can find it by searching for rough drafts on the website as well. Um, okay, oh, and you can get to it by going to clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts. Okay, uh, Sarah asks, am I gonna do a video on how you use pipe cleaners? Yes. I'm gonna do a series of videos on how I use pipe cleaners because I use pipe cleaners for a lot of things, whether that be the skeleton of my amigurumi to make them poseable, or I use it for making tools really often, um, like like uh, making like weapons for my amigurumi, stuff like that. So I will be coming out with tutorials for how to use pipe cleaners pretty soon. Uh, those are gonna be what I was talking about earlier with Amigurumi 101. So I want to start working up more about like, here's some tips for Amigurumi. And one of them once I want to do is how to use pipe cleaners. And uh, yeah, I'll be working on that pretty soon. So keep an eye out. Okay, so we got the octopus just about done. We just need to stuff them up a little bit and then add our chef hat. And then we'll move on. And I actually have, I'm, I'm trying to update my chef hat right now. 
Uh, and I'll show you why, how that, what I mean by that in a sec. Okay, let me see something real quick. Wow. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. This video has the potential to have the most likes on any live stream that I've ever done. You should make that happen. That would be really cool. I would super duper love that. So if you haven't yet, please like this video down below. And uh, yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so we're gonna be sewing this closed and then I'll add, we'll make our chef hat and then we'll continue on. What is my best crocheted gift for a baby? Ooh. Um. Okay. My best. I. My best tips for crocheted. Ba uh, for a gift for a baby. Well, make try to make make something that um doesn't have too much uh uh or isn't too tiny. Because that baby will be putting whatever you make into its mouth, because it's a baby. So try not to make something with like, um, I don't know, like, don't make anything minute. Don't think, make anything like smaller than this, because any smaller than this, the kid might be able to swallow it. Um. And I, it depends on how you use your safety bee dies, but it can be a little worrisome adding safety bee dies for an uh, for like a newborn baby. So like um, these safety bee dies, because these ones are a little bit bigger, you could get your teeth like a baby could get it. I mean, babies don't have teeth, but uh, like a toddler could get his teeth around this eye and pop it off. It'd be very difficult, but uh, you know, babies, they could do it. So maybe try making the eyes with yarn, like try this, try using like little dashed eyes like that, or try using smaller eyes like that. They're a little bit more difficult to like get, get anything around them or um, Try, just try to like connect them to the body a little bit more. Try maybe sewing it on on the back if you're a little worried about that. Just stuff like that. Oh, birthday gift. <laughs> oh, it did help. Okay. But you meant birthday gift. Okay. Well, for a birthday gift, I mean, what's my tip for a birthday gift? Make them anything. Whatever they want, whatever whatever you think they would like. Uh, I mean, my biggest tip always is make them stitched characters. Make them goblins. <laughs> make them something that they use. Oh, make them a burb. Burbs are great because it's a surprise gift too. You give them a pigeon and they're like, oh, how this is so cool, this is so cute. And then they pull off the head and they're like, that's a great birthday gift. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm making a chef hat now. And I'm gonna try making up the way that I have been trying to like update this chef hat. Let me go grab one that I made actually. I have it right here, I think. Yeah. So I'm trying something different for this chef hat. Well, I guess I don't need to. Eh, if it ain't broke, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's just make it the way we make it. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it.
Star Queen says that they somehow have nine tentacles. I don't know what I did or how to fix it. I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure I know what you did. Um, there are, there's really only two things that could have happened. The first thing is that you increased, uh, you, you added one too many stitches in the beginning and because of that you had like an extra increase as you went up. So you had three extra stitches at the end, which let you, or two extra stitches at the end, which let you do an extra tentacle. That's one. Two, you didn't do the tentacles right. And you, uh, maybe you did tentacles and did a slip stitch into the same one, or you didn't do a slip stitch after making one of the tentacles, so you added an extra tentacle that way. Um, those are probably the two biggest ways that I can think of off the top of my head for ways that you could have accidentally added an extra tentacle. Sarah, what Sarah said? Oh, you want a really good gift? You want a really good gift? Buy them a kit from my website. <laughs> Can I put a little fish pattern on the chef hat? Yeah, let's. that's a great idea. Let's try it. Let's try it, Chirp a Little. Chirp a Little, you come up with the best ideas. I love it. Can I give the pattern for the hat quick, Louie? Yes, I can, Kira. Um, so if you want to make this chef hat, it's actually a free tutorial on the website. You can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash chef hat. It's on the website. You can also find all these hats by just going to clubcrochet.com slash hats. And that is a, a way to find all the hats on my site. Yeah. So I try to make a lot of little short codes like that, like clubcrochet.com slash hats or, or slash chef hat, things like that, that really let you quickly get to certain tutorials on the site. Um, but speaking of which, I oh oh also check this out. Um, I think I've shown you this before, but I uh, you know it wouldn't hurt to show you it again. So this is my phone. This is my actual phone right now, and uh, on my phone, see that app right there, Club Crochet. You can actually add Club Crochet to your home screen now on uh, on your iPhone. All you have to do is let me just. All you have to do is go to there we go you just got to go to clubcrochet.com on your phone then you go to menu or then you yeah then you go to menu and log in um you'll need an account for this uh i'm just gonna log into my louis loops account real quick and then you want to get to this this site here it's the members.clubcrochet.com this is the members homepage. And from this page, you click this little button on the bottom right there. And you, you say, add to home screen. And then you hit done and that'll add it to your home screen like that. And when you open it, it actually performs as if it were an app. Okay. Pretty cool. And also, uh, by the way, this is how you would find rough drafts. It's this slider right here. See right there, Louis rough drafts. That's where you wanna go for your rough drafts. Um, but I'm going to find the chef hat now. I'm just going to search chef. And we're going to do that hat. And I'm going to use that tutorial. And here's the tutorial. That's what it looks like. Doo -doo -doo, and there's a video tutorial. And it has all the instructions. Stuff like that. So it's a really quick, easy way. I use this literally like every single day. I use my little, uh, my little app version. Let's, I'm just going to put it right here on, so I don't mess up. Because I've done rounds one, two, see, and this should be free. So I did two, three, three. I did that one. Okay, so I have two rounds of single crochets next. And I'm trying to. Um, does it work for iPads? Yes, it does. Creative Sheep. Yes. So you can use it. You can do that both on iPad or on iPhone. Um, and. I'm trying to get an actual app in the App Store soon, so you can um, find it in the App Store, but uh, obviously that is kind of tricky. It's kind of a tricky thing to do, but it, it's it's going to happen eventually. I just haven't figured it out yet, and between all the patterns I want to make and all the other things I want to do and my actual job, it is hard to do everything. But everybody that helps support um, gets me one step closer to, to making it a lot easier. <laughs>
Android 2. It also works on Android, yes. I'm working on a tutorial, um, just a little tutorial for the website for how to do what I just did. Uh, just for people to get a little bit extra help if they're having if they're getting confused about that so if you are extra confused about everything I just said um, I'm I'll work on a tutorial for you to, to help explain it a little bit more soon soon very soon exactly I am only one dude um, I do have a friend that helps on the website Nicole who uh, comes to the live streams every now and then. Uh, she is one of my best friends ever from uh, from high school, actually. So we met in high school, and we've been friends for a long time. And she helps me uh, organize things and manage things for Club Crochet. So uh, she handles a lot of the contact stuff and a lot of kit stuff, and she helps me... We meet up every week and she goes, okay, what do you have to do this week, Lou? She's a very organized human and I'm a very disorganized human, so it's very helpful. Um, so it is just one person, but I do have a second person that's helping me uh, with, within the last month, I have a second person that's helping like, uh, helping me stay on track because I get too many ideas and sometimes it's like, okay, that's a great idea, Lou, but let's let's table it for now and finish the ideas that you already have started. <laughs> um Rebecca, I mean, you can email me if you'd like. Uh, I do have a friend that, uh, a second friend that uh, I know that wants to help with the app stuff. So I'm probably going to get them involved too. But, you know, more the merrier. The Creative Sheep, I do remember you. I see ya. I see ya. Hello. I love your icon, by the way. The little rainbow sheep with the unicorn horn. It's adorable. Uh, boardable. Addy, you finished. Congratulations on finishing your octopus. And he is adorable. By the way, uh, I know I said this in the very beginning. Oh, Dominica, uh, currently it is 2.30 here. Where I'm at. Um, oh, shoot. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. Okay, so I finished my round six. I'm on round... Oh, that's messed up. Check it out. I found a goof on my website. So this is exactly the goofs I'm talking about. Look at that. It says rounds two to 12. That's not rounds two to 12. It's actually rounds seven to eight. So I'm going to have to fix that later. So if you ever find anything like that on the website, just let me know and I'll try to fix it. Uh, and I'd like to fix it as much as I can. <laughs> Crispy Crochet, thank you so much for your donation. Crispy Crochet says, I can't think of a message. <laughs> Sounds like uh, something Jack Gurgle would say. Uh, thank you so much, Crispy Crochet. Let's see, Crispy Crochet has got a, looks like a bear with a hat on. Hmm, what can I put out for Crispy Crochet? Oh, let's put this out for him. Let's put out this guy. You know why? Because I want to. So this is for you, Crispy Crochet. I'm gonna put this right on screen for you. I think I called this the a bugbear um, or a floofer or I don't know. I, I named this something. This was made in my Monster Mondays that I used to do a long time ago, uh, which I'm going to be bringing back soon. But it's like a, basically an idea where I draw a picture and then I crochet that live on the live stream for the first time. Um, so I'll probably bring that back pretty soon. So I'm going to put this out just for you um, because it looks kind of like a bear. And I think I called it Bug Bear. And you have a bear on your live stream. Okay. Ooh. You ever get yarn in between your toes and you're like, 
Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Feels like you're flossing your toes. Is it odd when people call me Louie even though I don't know them in real life? Uh, no, that's not odd. Uh, I go by, you know, that's my name. I go by Louie. Uh, uh, or Lou. Um, it does feel weird when people call me Louis in real life because that is technically my name, but I don't really go by Louis. I go by Louie. Um, I used to go by Louis until uh, college. Um, so it's kind of weird to hear people call me Louis in real life because it's just, just what my parents call me. But um, yeah, being called Louis is not weird. I mean, that's my name. How, <laughs> chirp a little, how on earth did you get yarn into? Well, I got my toes out and the yarn is on the ground. So it gets in between my toes. <laughs> I don't know. It just happens. I don't know. Oh, jeez. I don't know. So I've been thinking about a character for my stitched story mode because I want to test it out with uh, Jules and a couple of friends. And so I have this character that I want to work with uh, in the game called um, Porgle the Mind. He looks like this. He, I think he's gonna look like this. So he's like a troll with, with blind eyes and he's like the shaman leader. And he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, mm, yes, Porgle the Mind will ponder upon this further. He's gonna be the one to try to like tell the story and try to get the, the um, players to go to certain spots. Um, no, Dominica, it is uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. I live in San Francisco, California. Um, I'm going to try doing this. I'm going to try doing a slip stitch, chain, and then do half double crochets. Because why not try to innovate for my last round of my chef hat? Rebecca, you're back to crocheting with your feet? You were the one that was crocheting with your feet last time, right? Did it, does it work? I think, I think the last thing I remember is you got a chain stitch or something. Yarn Princess, oh my gosh, am I a Nintendo fan? I am a Nintendo fanatic. More than a Nintendo fan. When I was, okay, <laughs> I'm, I, I just got, <laughs> I just got chills because I thought about something that I, that I had in my room when I was a kid and also in high school and it's embarrassing and super nerdy, but, uh, I used to have Nintendo painted on my wall because I was such a Nintendo fan. I still am, but I was such a Nintendo fan. I didn't get it painted over until high school. Uh, and only because my friends started making fun of me. But I'm a huge Nintendo dork. Um, I am so, so, so excited for Tuesday. And that is because on Tuesday, sorry, one second, my yarn got trapped. On Tuesday, it is the, is E3, which might not mean much to some of you guys, uh, but E3 is a huge, is a big convention where uh, people like a bunch of video games get announced and stuff and Nintendo is doing a big announcement on Tuesday They're doing a Nintendo Direct and showing off all their new games that they're working on new Smash Brothers characters I'm Super excited uh, Like a little nerd like the nerd. I am very very excited about that. I really really hope that um well, first off, they put a cool character in Super Smash Brothers. I really want them to put in, um, let's see, who do I really want? I really want Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. I think that would be a fun character to have in the game. Um, what else do I want? Uh, I really want, I don't think it's going to happen, but I would love if they came out with Super Mario Strikers, which is a Mario game where you play um, soccer. And I, I'm not like a big soccer fan, but that game on the Wii was so much fun. I, I like seriously one of the best games I've ever played. So I hope they come out with that. That'd be really cool. 
Okay, so now I'm going to add in my little little parts of this uh, uh, see. chef hat to make it kind of like crimped so it looks more like a chef hat. And then uh, someone said they wanted a fish. I think it was Trip a little. Said they I should make a fish embroidery to add to it. So we'll try to do that as well. We have already been going for an hour and a half, which is pretty crazy for an octopus. And we still want to make a squid. Oopsies. So i got to start to rein in my work here. Let me go over everything twice, I think. Okay. I have done this wrong. Eh, no, I actually I don't think I did do it wrong. See, so it makes these little bumps like a chef hat. Okay. That. Okay, sorry. I know I got pretty quiet there for a sec. Thank you, Buzz Gazoon type. Of, thank you so much. I zoned out for a second there. You know, sometimes that's really nice though. Okay, now we want to just stuff this and sew it onto our head. Let's stuff it a little bit before I start sewing it on so I can get all the plates, pieces where I want them to be. I hit the camera. Ouch, ouch, whoops. Have I played the new Pokemon Snap game? Of course I have, Jasmine. Jules and I have beat the game, uh, and now we're just trying to get all the Pokemon. Um, we have a lot of them, though. I, I think we only have, like five or six more Pokemon that we need to get. Uh, we even caught Mew. There's a Mew, and we found it. Uh, Jules really likes playing the game. I really like playing it, but I also really like watching it and crocheting. So Jules plays, and then I crochet a lot. Uh, I It's really fun. If you guys haven't got the new Pokemon Snap yet, or haven't tried it, or haven't watched someone play it, uh, it's a good one. It's worth it. Definitely worth the game. I would say it's one of the better ones on there. Uh, Pokemon Snap and Luigi's Mansion 3, I think, are my two, maybe my two favorite games on the Switch now. I don't know. Eh. Eh. I don't know. I, I go. I go back and forth. Desiree! Your friends and I are learning a lot and making your way through Crocheting 101. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, uh. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I would be happy to help. Uh, that is really, really cool though. I, I just love the idea that you and friends are learning how to crochet together. That seems exciting. I dropped my needle. Okay. I wanna be the very best. There you go, creative sheep. Okay, now we are gonna need a name for this fella, so here is what we're gonna do.
Because last last week we came up with a name for Reginald, our our um, seagull friend. But this week we want to have a name for our chef to puss. Chef, chef octopus. I don't know. I don't know. Chef octopus. What would an octopus that is a chef be named? This is things that I wonder. So I think what I'm going to do is make a Google form, actually. Hey, uh, Melbell, you still in the chat? Let me know. Because I might need your help. Don't forget the fish on the hat. Oh, shoot. You're right. Thank you, Chirp a Little. Um, should I add the fish after or before I sew it? Let's do, I'll, I'll add the fish on after I finish sewing this on. You're on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're great. Thank you. Thank you, Mobel. You're the best. You're the best in the West. I'll, yeah, I'm going to try embroidering on the uh, the fishy after this. Or actually, maybe we can use, we could try something, something wild and crazy. Well, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's sew on. Let's finish sewing this hat on, and then I think I'll add the fish on afterwards. I've got two different ways I can do it. Dominique, uh, when will I be live again? I will be live next Sunday, same time, same place, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think we're going to be doing something stitched related next week, so that will either be a crochet along or a live tabletop game. Um, I'm not, honestly, I'm not totally sure which one yet. Um, I kind of want to do a tabletop game, but it seems like people maybe don't really like it as much when I do a tabletop game. Uh, as when I do a crochet along, so I don't know. I'll, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm tossing the idea back and forth in my head. So, what did, what would you guys want? Would you rather do a crochet along? Probably, huh? And that's okay. We are going to be starting to play Stitched on live streams pretty soon, though. But maybe we'll hold off on that for a little bit longer. How did I mess this up so bad? There we go. I wasn't liking how this was being sewn on, so I'm undoing a few of them. Because I think it's just a little too close right here. Bit of a mess here. Ah, made it worse. Ah, made it even worse. What's going on here, Bella? There you go. Let's try this again. Can I do a tutorial for how to crochet stitch? As in Stitch from Lilo and Stitch? I'm guessing that's what you mean. And if that is what you mean, I probably won't be doing that uh, for a few reasons. One, I don't really want to get a cease and desist. Uh, I try to avoid making copywritten characters if I can. Uh, yeah, that being said, you know, I do. I have made like Baby Yoda and stuff. But um, I might, might not do that. I also don't. I don't know. I'll think about it. I will strongly consider it for you, my friend. Okay, let's try this right here. Yeah, I think that's a little nicer because I wanted I wanted the hat to be kind of like crooked on him. So we're gonna sew it on a little more crooked. Let's see how many more stitches. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Ah, okay, this one's fine. Oh, did Melbell? Thank you. Okay, so Melbell just posted it in the chat. Um, name the Octo Chef. So this fella needs a name. Uh, 
she just added a Google form in there. I'm, what I'd like you to do is go into that Google form uh, and make a name. Give us a name and uh, I will choose my four favorite names and I'll put it in a poll and then everybody can help decide together what we want to name our OctoChef. So let me know what you want this fella's name to be. I really liked Reginald last time, so I'm glad it won. This is what I want to do. I'm going to go around it like that. To really make that easier. Back in and out there. Hey, anybody watched the new Loki on Disney Plus? Don't worry. If you haven't watched it yet, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I am going to say it's very good. I think my favorite of the Marvel shows so far. If you are interested in any of the Marvel shows or you like Marvel in general, I think you might like Loki. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Bye, Jane. Thanks for joining. I will enjoy making the squid. I'll see you later. And I'll try to make sure to get that dinosaur up in the rough drafts for you this week. All right. We've got our chef hat done. Now let's add our... Um, we want to add a little fish embroidery to it. Let's do it in, um, let's just do it in pink since I have pink right here anyhow. We just need a little bit. Sarah, can I do an introduction to the game with each character and the storyline? Yes. I love it. I love it. I like it. Yeah, I can uh, I can try doing that. Absolutely. So, how are we going to do this fish head? Let's try like this. And like this. If this doesn't work, we'll do um, a little felt one. But we'll see. It might not. This might not work. Or it, it's not that it won't work. It might not work as well as I want it to work. going to be very annoying to take off if it doesn't work, to be honest. Because I'm thinking that, that. Does that look like a fish? What do you think? Or does that just look like a mess? I think it kind of just looks like a mess. Tell you what. One second. Let me see something. Let's try something new. Let's try something weird. Hold on. There we go. We actually used this last week, too. The sticky felt. Oof. 
Yep, that's exactly what we're doing, Chirp a Little. Mind reader, you're a mind reader. Yeah, let's get rid of this one and let's try it again. We need a sharper needle to get rid of this. Let's try this again. Have I watched Naruto or Oren High School? Uh, no, actually, I've never watched Naruto. I um, I do like anime. I only like certain animes, though. Um, I really like uh, um, um, bro bro Brothers, Al Alchemist Brothers. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, actually. Uh, but I really like that show. I watched Brotherhood and the other one. That's my favorite anime, I think, so far. Really like that one. It's about two brothers that live in a science fiction-y world, and there's alchemy, which is basically magic. Very cool. My brother alchemist, or? I can't remember the name of that game. That Full Metal Alchemist, thank you, thank you. I was thinking of Brotherhood, because Brotherhood is the, like there's like two versions of the show. There's one that's like, kind of like tamed down for the Western world, and one that's like very anime-y, and I like the, I actually really like the anime-y one a lot. Um, I like them both, but I think I like the other one more. Oh man, Addy, you gotta watch, um, you've gotta watch, uh, Spirited Away. If you like Totoro, or Poyo, or Ponyo, or, um, or Kiki's Delivery Service, you probably would really like Spirited Away. That's one of his other ones, and honestly, that's my favorite of the Miyazaki films, is Spirited Away. It's a very, very good one. Like that? How do we feel about this? Good night, Dominica. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next Sunday. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit. doing that okay I'm glad you like it trip a little because I'm doing it for you <laughs> all right Ooh, or do we want it pointing this way actually I think I like it pointing this way more on there. Make sure it's on. There you go, chirp a little. Our chef octopus is done. Don't forget to put the name uh, in the form that uh, that Melbell has been posting in the chat. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and copy that and put it in the description of the video. So here we go. Chef. 
Chef Octopus. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I added it in the description. Um, name our chef de puss, chef octopus. Uh, it is in the description. We need a Google form and then I'll get my favorites and put a form out uh, later this week for you guys to vote on it. Okay, let's start working on our squid. Um, yeah, let's start working on a squid. The Okay. Sorry, I was trying to understand. Okay. Okay, we're back. Coffee. I think I need coffee. Oh, oh, oh. Where's our coffee? Where's our snob? Oh, Jack Gurgle. Right, Tina. Yes. Okay, Jack Gurgle will say hi real quick to you, Tina. But no halftime show today. One second. Hey, buddy. Wake up. Ah. Okay, 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 all right. They want to say hi to you. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Where's my... I need to make sure that I have this right. Okay. Tina, someone wants to say hello. Hello, Tina! I'm here just for you. Just you. No one else. Hello, my name is Jack Gurgle. You might know me as... Uh, your holiness, or that one really handsome goblin, or um, that guy that once uh, uh, stole a carpet from a carpet salesman. I am known as many names. Oh, or you could call me Jack. Jack Gurgle. Yeah. Hello, 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 Desiree and Alejandra, and uh, let's see, we got Stranger Danger. Oh. Your insides hurt. <laughs> Mine too. There's a hand inside me. Mm -hmm. You should try having a hand inside you. It hurts. Not feel good. Hello, Emily. Hello, Emily. Uh, so today, uh, what have I been doing? Uh, I have been eating rocks. Um, yeah, really into eating rocks recently. Uh, they have a lot of salty flavor to them that uh, I just enjoy. They they kind of crack open my mouth, which is fun for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like rocks. Uh, but not as much as money. I like money. So if you want to tip me, uh, I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joyful little. You never know. You never know. Hello, Ari. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ari. Big hug to you as well, Tina. Thanks so much for for summoning me from my my enclosure. I am usually locked up. That's not even remotely true. I do not lock you up. Sure you do. Okay, well, you're gonna tell everybody that. Just in time, Divine Rose. Uh, uh, Jack, are we doing a halftime show? Nah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think you got much to show, buddy. Do ya? No, I, I really don't. I actually kind of um, I don't I didn't make too many things this week. Right, right, right. So uh, yeah, he actually doesn't have much to show for a halftime show, but uh, I still decided to join anyhow, thanks to Tina. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I just gotta keep an eye out for that Goblin Slayer. That is true. That guy is rude. It's like, didn't your mom teach you nothing? Jeez, what a joy. Okay, well. That's about it for me because uh, Louis' arm hurts. <laughs> you want to say bye? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and give me money. Okay, thanks. Bye. Jackery Gurgle. That's his full name. His name is Jackery. Um, <laughs> Jack is too cute. I got to do a tutorial for Jack soon. 
Thank you for keeping a lookout, Mr. Sven. Okay, let's get back to this. I gotta figure out a better way to um, to have Jack say hello because it's this. This is a difficult position to be in, but like this would be good. Maybe I could get like a secondary camera and like a green screen. That's too much. Or oh, maybe I could do this way. Do a secondary camera like that. That might work. That might work. I got an idea. I'll, I'll work on that later. Okay, but in the meantime, we're gonna be making a uh, 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 a squid with a, maybe a top hat. Hey, what color squid should we do, guys? We need a squid. Um, yeah, Jack, I, I'll, I'll do a tutorial for Jack soon. Um, we need to make a squid. What color squid should we do? So let's see, we got, uh, let me get a few color options and you guys can choose. We can do uh, orange or yellow or teal. Okay. Four color options. What do you want to do? Let me know in the chat. I'm going to have more coffee, and you guys are going to let me know. We've got orange, yellow, uh, green, or blue. Orange, yellow, green, or blue. I'm reading the chat. We got, let's see, we got green, yellow. Ooh, a lot of yellows. Okay, one, two, three. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Ooh, a lot of people saying yellow. Bye, Creative Sheep. Thanks for joining. Uh, maybe I'll see you next Sunday. Yellow, green, orange. Uh, ja Jameis says orange. Whoa, that's a lot of green. That's a lot of green. Ah, uh, looks to me like maybe we're going to do... Oh, gosh, you guys are torn. Okay, so here's, wh here's what we're going to do. It looks like it's between... Green and orange. So, here's what we'll do. Uh, let's flip a coin. What do you think about that? Rainbow. We could do... Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Chirp a little actually brings up a good point. It is June. It is LGBT month. Maybe we should do rainbow. What do you think about rainbow? I really like that idea. I kind of think we should do rainbow. I know I just said, oh, one, two, one, two. Green, green. Yeah, a lot of people are saying green. <laughs> yeah, triple O, you're a little biased. Okay, people agree. Rainbow. We gotta do rainbow. We gotta do rainbow. Let's do a rainbow squid. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun to me. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm glad you guys all agree. <laughs> all right. Hell yes. I love rainbows. Who doesn't like rainbows? No one. No one doesn't like rainbows. Okay, so... People that need to get their life in order don't like rainbows <laughs> when was the last time you saw a rainbow I think I saw a rainbow probably like maybe like five months ago was the last rainbow that I saw alright we are on Okay, so we're making the squid now, if you are crushing along with us. If you want to get this tutorial, um, here, let me actually change this on the get the pattern at thing on the screen. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. We're going to change this to squid. And this is a great way if you don't have a membership or, um, yeah, here, here's my next plea before I get started here. Um, I just changed it on screen. If you want to get this pattern, it's available at clubcrochet.com slash squid. 
Uh, there's a full video tutorial and a PDF, everything that you need to make a squid. Uh, and uh, it is available with a membership account. So if you have a membership account on the website, you'll have access to this pattern or you can purchase the pattern. It's only $2.99, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, and it comes with everything that you need and it's a great way to support the channel. If you wanna just support for a little bit, um, consider getting the pattern for just $2.99. Uh, or become a member and uh, download the PDF with a membership account. That would also work. Um, yeah, but whichever you'd like to do, uh, it'd be great. And this pattern is different than the squid or than the octopus pretty significantly. So, so it's like, it's not the octopus pattern is basically what I'm saying. It is different. What brand and color name is that rainbow yarn? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure this is Lily Sugar and Cream, but I'm not a, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't have very much left of it. I bought this like a decade ago, so uh, I use it very sparingly. I don't really like using it uh, too often because I don't have that much left, um, and I don't really know where to get it. But yes, I'm pretty sure it's Lily Sugar and Cream. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Pride Month is pretty popular here in San Francisco, if you can imagine. And it's just great. It's just great. Love seeing the rainbows everywhere. Okay, one, two, three. Heart or... F Ooh, Mackenzie wants to know. Heart... Hearts or flower keychains? I would say, uh, ooh, that's a hard decision. Uh, do flowers. I, I vote flowers, personally. I mean, hearts are great, obviously, but I vote flowers. Yeah, really, what a shocker. Two. Okay, let's see where I'm at in the pattern here. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up on my phone because it's easier for me to keep track of it. Pattern. Oh, I'm not logged in. I forgot to hit remember me when I logged in, so you gotta hit remember me so it keeps you logged in. But, there we go. Okay, so we've done one, that one, that round, that round, that round. Okay, I'll take this off screen because it is a paid pattern. Okay, I'm on round six. Addie's still attaching the chef hat. I love making the squids. I love this yarn too. I've got to buy more of this. Maybe I'll, you know what? I wish I did this for kits this month, a rainbow kit. Should have done that. Maybe next month or maybe next year. We'll do a June rainbow kit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so I got to mark that off. Who's, who's KP Squidman? Okay, uh, Yarn Princess, explain yourself. What does that mean? What is KP Squidman? Is that a, uh, is that a play on words? Am I missing something there? Cooperlish has already finished their second dragon with the rough drafts. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I have to implement your uh, your notes. Uh, the biggest note that I have to implement is um, I can't believe I kept that bobble stitch for the feet. Sure. Or, I mean, Cooperlicious. Wait, that was it, right? So, that was that, and I'm on round eight. Okay, <laughs> that looks so cool. All right, so now we're gonna make the uh, the fin or the frill. This is what I love about this pattern. It's very unique. Now I do want to get rid of this middle bit because it's annoying me. Toss that to side. Bye, Stranger Danger. Thanks for joining. Maybe I'll see you next Sunday. Remember how to do the frill very well. Except I don't remember if there's one or two. So let me push it this way. No. There we go. Okay, any Sarah Pickles, any hints for the Halloween crochet? Oh, that's a great question. I actually haven't thought that far ahead. I still need to figure out what to do for Halloween this year for patterns. Um, I should probably should start thinking about that though. I mean, I have so many Halloween patterns, it's crazy. So I might just do a big old, big old pod person kit or something. Get what we did last. I think we did a like a choose your own pod person. Natalie, hello, welcome, Natalie. You're very welcome, Fady. For the free patterns, you are absolutely welcome. If you enjoy the free patterns uh, and you want more, there are a whole lot where that came from with memberships. One, two, three, four. I'll do five here. Right there. Oh, that's right, Sarah. That's right. We're doing Audrey too. You're right. I already did have that idea. Thank you so much. I need to put that written down somewhere because I'm gonna forget and that is exactly what we're doing For for Halloween is the Audrey 2 Who I wonder if I can even get a pot in time if I get pots for the kits That would be really cool because then you could get a pot mailed to you with all with all the materials to make your Audrey 2 in a pot That'd be really fun I'll think about that What about the Thanksgiving pattern? Oh man, I don't know. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure. I know I'm gonna try to do something pretty big for Christmas, but I don't know what yet. There we go. Okay, I think we're, that was the end of that round. Was it? Yeah. Three, eight, 
continued. Okay, yeah, so I'm on round nine now. I'm out of focus, aren't I? There we go. Oh, we actually have one, Yarn Princess. Check it out. Right here. That, that's what we did last year, actually, for Thanksgiving, is we did a, a turkey burp. See? That was last Thanksgiving kit. Uh, I actually might have some of these in the shop, uh, kits left in the shop, but I'm not totally sure. But yeah, this was actually last month's kit, and the tail was so cool. Look how cool that tail is. Oh. I always have it ready because... Oh, I don't know if you can see. Check this out. Ready? See that thing? It's just filled with burbs. I just put all my burbs on there. There's like 20 burbs on there of different kinds. There's a toucan. This is a toucan burb. There's owl, seagulls, all the parrots. Um, I need to make a new humming burb because I gave the last one that I had to my, um, my mom. So I'll have to make a new humming burb. But pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, a poinsettia. I like that. That's a fun idea for Christmas. That's a really fun idea. Yeah. Yeah, desert. Yeah. I just, I mean, I just love burbs. <laughs> I just love them. They're just so silly to me. Okay, and that's going to be the end of round nine. Okay. Now we get to work on round 10, which is pretty tricky. Because we need to get our black yarn, and we need to get some white yarn, and I think I used the main white yarn from the kit yarn that I had, so we want to grab some extra white yarn here. Okay. Dr. Otto Octopus. Dr. Otto Octavius. Oh my gosh, coffee and crochet, I love that. <gasps> what a fun idea for Stitched, a snowball fight version. I like that idea. Oh my God, I have so much I want need to do. There's Dotted Duff Tide. Whoa, chirp a little, thank you. That is good to know. Thank you for letting me know. Hey guys. We passed 200 likes on this video. That's crazy, right? Isn't that crazy? If you, uh, I mean, let's shoot for the moon. I don't think we'll make it, but let's see if we can get 300 likes. That would be pretty freaking cool. If you like this video and you want to try to get us to help me get to 300 likes here, um, like it down below. Star Queen, um, how much would the membership cost and like where would that be found lol um so memberships cost uh five dollars a month for a basic membership that gets you all the digital access to pdfs and video tutorials everything like that everything that's available digitally um with a free trial it gives you you get a seven day free trial and you can cancel it anytime you want um and the pro membership is uh, twenty dollars a month, but the first month is only fifteen dollars. So you get a you get a discount for your first month, and that's the one that gets you all the digital access, just like the regular membership, but also gets you the monthly kits mailed to your door each month. So um, yeah, and and yeah, so that's the difference of the kits. You can learn more. I think you can just go to clubcrochet.com/membership, um, or if you go to clubcrochet.com, you can hit join and you can sign up there. Um, basically, clubcrochet.com is where you want to go to find out more about this if you would like to sign up for a membership. Hopefully, that was helpful. Three, four, five, six, and then we'll decrease down. Okay, and then we got one, two. Wow, that is going pretty fast up there. There's no, 
There's no way we'll get 300, right? I mean, <sighs> prove me wrong though. I'd like, I'd really like to see that happen. That'd be really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a decrease. Okay, that's the end of that row. Look at how cute this guy is. Oh my God, the rainbow one. You know who's gonna love this? Jules. Jules loves rainbows. She is the biggest rainbow fan I know. Okay, so we're on round 11 now. Whoa, we just had someone sign up for a membership. Let's see here. Carice, I don't know if you are in the chat right now, but Carice, thank you so much for signing up for a membership. I really, really, really appreciate that. That is uh, very cool. Not only does it help There's the backyard. Not only does it help like the channel grow and stuff, but also uh, it gets you a bunch of stuff and you're like get to crochet along with us during these live streams more and stuff. I just I just want you to know I really appreciate that. If anybody else signs up for a membership right now, uh, I'll give them a shout out. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll have her come in here when we when we finish up this uh, this squid and see what she thinks. Jules is my girlfriend, Mackenzie. That's my girlfriend. Okay, and uh uh uh, we had someone earlier asking about doing um the face for your squids uh, or for octopi or squids. So I'm about to do my second uh, a mouth right now, the nose and stuff. Uh, so if you are having trouble with how to make the mouth of your octopus or your squid, uh, pay attention because I'm going to give uh, a little bit more detailed advice for that uh, right now. Um, I guess the most detail you can get is in the uh, video tutorial for each of these patterns, but you know, it won't hurt to do it on a live stream That way you can ask me any questions as well. So here we go. I'm all set up Pull that a little tighter get a little wider. Okay, so I'm using my rainbow yarn here for the mouth and what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to um, start by slip stitching up and around. So we're gonna be working in a circle and make a circle of slip stitches first. So I start in my next stitch, do one slip stitch, and then I go up a row right here for my second slip stitch. Now if you are following along in the written instructions, there are actually like, there's a picture with all the instructions there. And then I'll, let me go ahead and do this real quick. And then I'll move over to right here and do another slip stitch. Okay, and what I'm doing on the inside is I'm just feeling where this rainbow yarn is and I'm just like uh, yarning over on the inside and pulling it through. So let me show you in the next one. Here's another slip stitch into this next stitch right here. And on the inside, see here's the end and I'm just going around it. And then pulling that through and then pulling it through the loop on the hook. And then I'm gonna go back down. So I'm basically doing a circle, you see? So we got one, two, three, four, we need two more, five, and then six is gonna be the uh, last stitch you made right there. So five and three down right there. And then one last one right here. Hey, we got a membership. Let me give you a shout out in just a second. And that's gonna be step one of making the mount. See how I made just a circle of slip stitches. And quick shout out to Chirp a Little. Trip a little, thank you. Trip a little just signed up for a membership. I think that was you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was you. Thank you so much, if that was you, for signing up for a membership. Okay, so next of uh, step two, you slip stitch into the first slip stitch that you made in the last round right there. It was you, okay, cool. Slip stitch right there. And then you turn your piece, okay? This is the part that uh, they had a little trick, is you turn it and then you chain one. 
and then you work back into the slip stitches that you made to work back around in the circle, but going this way around. Not this way, but this way around. If you work this way around, uh, continuing in the same way, it'll make the nose go like inward. And actually, here's a good example of that. Where is it? Hold on, I'd, I'd love to show you an example of, of what happens when you do that. There's a, there's a squid somewhere here, or an octopus somewhere here with a top hat and a monocle. And he's maroon. What a maroon. What a maroon. I don't know where I put him. I had a bunch, remember, remember I had all my octopi up here and I moved them over and I took them away and I put them over here, but I'm missing one. One very specific one that I needed. Maybe I put him in the. Is he in here, maybe? Oh well. I can't find it. Huh. Oh, here he is. Okay. So look, if you keep going in the same way. See how that nose like really closes in like that? That's not what we want. What we really want is like uh, the one we just made where the mouth is a little bit more open and that's because we turned around. See, so you can see how the difference is. That case, it's the key, see. Okay. So we chained one and we turned. Get our yarn. That. Chained one, turned, and then now we, we're gonna skip our chain, we're gonna skip our first slip stitch, and then we're gonna start in our next slip stitch right here. And it's pretty hard to get under there, but you do wanna get under both of those loops. Like under this one and this one, simultaneously. Like that. And then do a single crochet. And then you're working back around in a circle in single crochet. So we go one, Two, three, four. You want to do six total, so there's five. And then the last one is the same one that you worked a slip stitch into right there. It's a little green stitch right there. It's kind of hard to see. See that one? That's where we want to work into. So we're going to go into that one like that. And then do a single crochet in that one. We're almost done with this mouth. The next thing is you slip stitch into the very first single crochet that you made into step one right here, or step two right there. So under both loops of that first single crochet that you made and do a slip stitch. And that's pretty much it. You chain one, you turn, and then you continue on in the body. And that is how you make slip stitches. Hey, new membership. Let me look at that. Hold on. No, no, don't go away. Hold on. Desiree. Thank you so much, Desiree. Thank you. That was really cool. Thank you, Desiree. Desiree just signed up for a membership. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so we are on to the next stitch, which is right here, and it's half black. Uh, now, if you're making the octopus, the stitches are very confusing, um, or like more, much more complicated than it is with the octopus. So if you're just starting out right here, um, I would suggest starting with the octopus. Bye, Fate. Bye, Fatty. Fatty? I think I said that right. And then, yeah, we'll continue on in our, continue on with our little squiddly, squiddly squiddly. Okay. There we go. That yarn. You can 
continue on. See, I just did step... Okay. And then we'll do one more round, and then I'll add the eyes in. I think I'm going to add the eyes. Uh, I think I'm going to do this for the eyes for this one, just because it's so cute. And look at this rainbow dude. He needs cute eyes like that. Just needs them. It's a necessity, I think. Therefore, I am. Why is the pigeon neck so long, Angel asks. Uh, that's because this is Long Pigeon. It's different, and you know why? This is why, Angel. Check this out. Because Long Pigeon is always, always ready to party. <laughs> Long Pigeon is a party animal, man. Look at that. Party animal. He's always ready to party. So he needs a, you know, he's got a long neck for that reason. Can't just ask people why their necks are long, Angel. <laughs> Kim, thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Uh, 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 Riley, um, will I be doing a p tutorial for the hummingbird? Yes, I will be. Um, I'm not sure when, but that will that is the plan absolutely to do a hummingbird. Humming burb, I should say, tutorial. So that's coming out. Um, I don't know when. I don't know when. I got a lot of tutorials I got to work on. So uh, one at a time. But that definitely is the plan. Um, it. I would say it's the top five patterns for coming out next. Uh, I'm not sure when, but it's one of the top five. So yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah, me and my mom are actually working on a book for the burbs. So I need to make that one for her help me out on okay so we did that round I'm gonna stretch this mouth open just a little bit that right there make it a little bit more normal uh, and then let's add our eyes in um, I like to add the eyes on the end right there because I want it to be very cute that like this Christmas burb. It's a Christmas burbical. There's one eye. Let's do the other one right here. I think I wanted it a little higher up, but I can fix it. I can fix that. Does anybody know what that's from? I can fix that. If anybody knows what that's from, let me know in the comments. I know what it's from. But uh, it's a very niche reference to a movie. Let's see if anybody can get it. If if anybody can get it in the next few minutes. If not, then I'll give you another hint. Let's fix that one a little bit again. Next week, we're going to be making some goblins and trolls and stuff, Kira. That's right. Jasmine, first one. Right away, Jasmine. That's right. It's from Holes. The movie Holes with Shia LaBeouf. I used to watch that movie all the time. I love that movie. I'd actually like to watch that movie again. I haven't watched it in probably years. I can fix that. You know who is? You know who that is? That is, um, that is uh, Gus from Psych, another show I really, really like. If you haven't ever watched Psych, that's a great show. And that actor is the same guy from Holes. I always think that's really interesting. Okay, add our eyes in there. <laughs> Two peas in a pod, Jasmine, me and you. Okay, so we got our eyeballs there. I'm just like giving a little bit more of white on the one side 
Um, but I'll probably fix this up again a little bit later once I've finished a few more rounds. But that's pretty cute if you ask me. So I think it'll work. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much again, Kira, for joining. And I'll see you uh, next week. I hope I helped with the mouth. Would the squid look weird if you didn't add the black behind the eyes? No, uh, it doesn't, actually. Um, here's one where I didn't add the eyes at all, actually. And I think it's really cute. So check it out. This is what the squid looks like with the, without the eyes. I actually add eye, I added eyelashes in there. Um, and I think it's just so cute. So, yeah, you definitely don't have to add the black behind the eyes if you don't want to. Uh, in fact, it, it's a lot more complicated to add the black behind the eyes. But, uh, you know, I like it. I think it's cute. Uh, okay, so next we single crochet one to move the row over. And then we, um, then we start on our fins. And I'm going to do spiky uh, or, like, pointed tentacles this time. Um, because I find that pointed tentacles for the squid look a little bit, uh, I don't know, more squid-like than rounded ones. But you can do it. Either or. I love how these tentacles are changing colors in the middle of the tentacle, too. That's really cool. And I'm just to like um, do some some fixing, some face fixes at the end of this. I'm being a little, I don't know, aggressive with my crochet. Just be, I don't know why. Two hundred, almost two hundred thirty likes. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy and wild. Is the like bar going up as mine ain't? I don't know. I should put a little thing like, I wonder if I could do that, where it like tells you how many likes is in this video. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some stitched crocheting next week. I'm not totally sure which one. I probably will be asking your um, advice on what you'd like me to make for Stitched, uh, because we can do a goblin or an orc or a troll or whatever we want. Chirp a little, you changed your icon. I love it. I love it. Good, good choice. Looks great. Okay, we're back to orange. That's funny. So it looks like it goes like yellow, green, blue, green, yellow, orange. I don't know. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it, to the order of colors. I don't know. I don't really understand the dye process, though. I'd, I'd really like to learn how to dye yarn. It would be pretty fun. Gosh, I don't think I want to even add a hat to this guy. I think he's just so cute without with just being I Sorry, I think they're so cute without having any additions to them, you know, like I don't think they need a hat I don't think they need a Anything I think they're perfect the way they are So we'll probably call it after this Squidly Maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I do have one thing that I'd like to see if it'll even fit in the camera, but I don't think it will. So I think we might have to do it a little later. 
Yeah, okay, cool. I'm glad you agree, Trip, a little. Because I, I agree, too. I think the rainbow one is good by itself. I don't think they need anything additional. Oh, there's not enough blue in your mind, huh? Okay, we slip stitch, and then we do that right there. All right, he's almost done. And we'll get Jules's seal of approval. Hopefully she's not in the midst of too many games. She was playing Fortnite last night till like really late. <laughs> she probably doesn't want me to tell you that, but I thought it was funny. It was like 2 a.m. and I was still working on my, uh, on a pattern. And she was like, I went, I went in to say goodnight to her. Are you still playing Fortnite? <laughs> it's 2 a.m., Jules. Go to bed. Okay. All right, last tentacle here. I love it. I love them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest squid I've ever done. <laughs> I have to say, this one is like. That's insane. That's insane how cute that is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a new, well, there's a new, uh, like, season for Fortnite, so I think that's why. That's why she got sucked into it last night, at least. But we've been playing that new dodgeball game, it's called Knockout, um, on the Switch. I think it's on, like, all the systems. It's so much fun. It's basically dodgeball, 3v3, and I love it. It's very fun. Okay, so I'm adding... I'm closing our I'm closing our squidly up now. We'll stuff it a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just smiling at how cute the rainbow choice was. This was a great idea, Chirp a Little. Super good, super good idea. Okay. Um, next, we want to add stuffing. Just a little bit. Uh, I really like to add stuffing right now before I go any closer to the end. Aloe vera, thank you so much. Also, I love your name. Hello, Sasha. Welcome. Stuff that up a little bit. Okay, so we're on our, actually, our last row here. Last round, I should say. Oh my gosh. That's just, that's just too cute. I love looking at it from the top. It looks like a little star, like a little, like the sun or something. Or from the bottom too. Aww. All 
All right. Uh, and uh, don't forget, um, we are doing uh, coffee and crochet, and I are doing a challenge, a club crochet challenge, uh, where we're going to be um, making one thing from the club crochet library, and you're going to post a picture of it on Reddit or um, the Discord channel, and we're going to give away uh, a $20 gift card to someone that, uh, uh, to, to our favorite um, creation using the thing but uh, before we do that and I'll talk about this more next week as well but before we do that uh, we need to decide what we're going to make in our um, in our challenge and if you would like to vote on what to make in the challenge there is a vote on um, there's one vote on YouTube and one vote on reddit so we're voting between an octopus a squid a seahorse, ang an anglerfish, or a seagull. So you'll be able to choose one of those and then we'll do the challenge based on that. So if you want to vote on what you'd like to, what you'd like the challenge to be, uh, go to clubcrochet.com slash challenge and you can find the votes down there. It'll be like, okay, vote on YouTube, vote on Reddit. You can vote on both of them. We're gonna tally the votes together and choose uh, based on what wins the votes. And then the challenge will start on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and we'll talk about it ne again next Sunday before we start crocheting as well. And I think we're going to try to do those once a month. Uh, that would be pretty fun, I think. With a different, a different prize each month. Yeah, I noticed the the octopus. Oh, there, there you go. Thank you so much, Coffee and Crochet, posting the links right there. So you can vote either the either in, in either of those two places. Okay, so we got our squid done. Let's go get let's go get Jules and get her opinion here. But uh, actually, let me let me just tweak them a little bit more and fix the tentacles a bit. We'll get her reaction. Um, the eyes is where I really want to fix it. See, because I want I want more white on this side of the eye. So I'm gonna go in there, try to pry some of that out. It's being difficult with me though. Eh, couldn't really get it way I wanted it to. Well, that's okay. It's still cute. Round it out a little bit. Well, I, I got a little bit out. Yeah, that's not bad. Just enough so you can see the edge of that. Okay, let me get Jules real quick, and I'll be back in just a second. Uh, and we'll get her opinion. Never gonna forgive me. Phoebe was laying on her lap. Phoebe is very upset right now. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. I thought you'd like the rainbow one a lot. Of course. Did you, did you tell everybody I love rainbows? Yeah, of course. I thought I heard that in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> I love rainbows. She does. She loves them. So cute. What do you think we should name it? Prism. Oh, cute. Great idea. Prism. Or something like that. And I like I like that Prism is not is a very non-binary name as well, mm -hmm. because this is definitely a non-binary squid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I am so happy with it. So cute, I love those eyes. The eyes look really big. Yeah. You use much bigger. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah. Then like so these cute. little ones. <laughs> yeah. Adorable. Prism. I love that name. That's such a great name. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Thanks for thinking of me while making this. You're welcome. It's really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say bye to everybody. Guys, thank you so much for joining. 
I will see you next week. Make sure to okay. So a lot of things, a lot of things we got to talk about before I before I say goodbye. First thing is uh, we still need a name for this guy. Um, so if you want to give the name, there's a link in the top of the description there uh, where you can be like, oh, I think we should name it this one. So we'll so give me a. Um, um, so give us a name for our our octopus uh, chef. Um, I love the eyebrows. I really think those added a lot of character to it. So that's really cool. And I like the little thing. So go ahead and give us a name for our octopus chef. Uh, go ahead and vote on what we should be making in our challenge starting on Wednesday. Um, obviously, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I think we are almost at 250 likes which is crazy. Um, this also was, I believe, the most viewed live stream so far. So we have like 60 people still at the end. I don't think that's ever happened on our live stream. So thank you so much for everybody that's joined the live stream, everybody that has uh, liked, subscribed, everybody that's signed up for a membership. Thank you so much. Let me see, make sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you so much for everybody that signed up for a membership and has tipped and is just wonderful and spent their Sunday crocheting with me. I love you guys. I this was been this has been great. Some really amazing things made. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. I'm not sure what we're gonna make yet, but we're gonna make something next Sunday. I think we're gonna be making something from Stitched. I don't know what just yet. So we'll we'll see about that. Um, what about Jimbo? Ah, uh, Jimbo's probably asleep. And you know what? That that little kitty does not sleep often, so we gotta let it let him sleep when he can. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again. Good night. Good night to everybody that's uh, going to bed right now. And thanks for uh, having me be the end of your day. I appreciate that so much. You have no idea. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back next Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time, same place. And we'll be making some stitch things. I have such a hard time saying goodbye. Always, always and forever. Um, okay, guys. But uh, I think I think that's about that's about that. Ugh, look at our little chef, though. Let's turn back on autofocus here. Look at our little chef. He's so cute. So cute. No prism. No prism. Oh my god. Prism is so cute. Oh my god. I love the rainbow. I gotta use this yarn way more often. I'm gonna look into that and see if I can get a bunch of it. Uh, and then start. I'll put it in my shop or something. Because this rainbow yarn's perfect. Okay. Enough dilly dallying. Enough uh, of my of my long goodbyes. <laughs> uh, where do you vote for the names? There should be a link at the top of the description there that says uh, choose the name. Uh, and then I will put, I will choose my four favorite names and I'll put it on a YouTube uh, um, vote thing. So uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon. So uh, you should get notified whenever votes come up there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how we're gonna vote on names. Um, and yes, the yarn is available. Apparently the yarn is available on Amazon. I'm going to try to see if I can get it for on wholesale so that I can get a bunch of it and then I can sell it, um, at, for cheap because on Amazon, they always sell it for like way too much money. So I'd like to sell it for relatively, you know, normal priced in the shop and stuff like that. Um, okay. Okay. No, you hang up. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. You hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, whatever. Okay. Wow. No, you hang up. Stop it. Hi, Abby. <laughs> no, you. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, yeah, and like the video, obviously, if you haven't yet. Stop. No, you, Cooper. You hang up. Oh my god, you're so bad. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye, everybody.
Thanks for joining. <laughs>